Well, new tonight, many questions about the city of Memphis's alert system after it woke up some Memphians, alerting them that a man went on a shooting spree Saturday night, while others were left out from receiving this crucial information. Now, Stefan Reels has been working to get you answers. He joins us now. Stefan, what have you found out? Well, Pepper, people as far as Germantown were receiving these alerts that Mavis Christian Jr. was a suspect in the shooting of multiple family members in Memphis, stating Christian was armed and dangerous. What some are taking issue with is it appears the alert did not have all the necessary information like this, where the shootings had happened. We immediately thought it was, is this a scam? Is this a real thing? Greg Miller was one of the many people shocked Sunday morning when they woke up to see these alerts on their phone. Alerts some Memphians thought were fake, later finding out it was 100% real. And then you get it and you, do I need to panic about this? How, how targeted is this? In the messages, very little information was provided where Saturday's series of shootings took place or where the suspect, Mavis Christian Jr., could possibly be. Something Miller thought was critical to mention in the alert. I think you have to be reasonable. Like, they don't know where he is. Like, you could be anywhere in the city in 15 or 20 minutes. So we asked Memphis police why none of this information was shared in the alert. A spokesperson did not speak to us in person, so they answered via email that the message was crafted based on the event and includes information that is imperative to get out as soon as possible. We also asked MPD why the alert was sent out across Shelby County. They say it's because Christian was at large. And while Anna Ayera says she appreciated the alerts, she still would have liked to know where the shootings were. Is he in my neighborhood or is he downtown? I think that would have been a little bit more helpful to like definitely let us know where exactly in the area do we have to, if you live in the area where you need to be more alert. And Pepper, the city alert system launched in Memphis back in February, just five months after Ezekiel Kelly's shooting spree, which shut down parts of the Bluff City. This same shooting also inspired the creation of other emergency alert systems in Germantown and Shelby County. Pepper. All right, Stefan, thank you.